Hey everyone, welcome to Anaheim Park Tours. In today's video, we are sharing the amenities at Home 2 Suites. We thought it'd be best to make a separate video because Home 2 Suites has so many great amenities. Let's go ahead and jump right into the first one, which is the gymnasium. This is a newer hotel and the gym is located on the second floor. I actually thought the gym was quite large. There is a variety of free weights. There is plenty of cardio equipment. There are weight machines. There's a yoga area and there are water fill stations in the gym. Additionally, there are bathrooms which are located inside the gym and I thought that was a really nice touch. When we visited, the gym was empty, so if you're one of those early risers that wants to get their workout in, I think this place will be empty for you. Up next is the pool. The pool is a shared amenity with the Hilton Garden Inn. It has an amazing splash pad area for little kids and what I really liked was they added chairs for the adults to watch their children in there. When we asked, we were told that the pool is heated to about 74 degrees and it is a nice big pool area with lots of lounge chairs and there's also a spa. We didn't film in the spa area because there was people in there and we wanted to respect their privacy. Near the spa are also cabanas available for use. There is an on-site restaurant and bar. When we visited Home to Suites, the restaurant and bar had very limited hours and we were just unable to get in there. If visiting the restaurant and bar is a must have, we encourage you to visit the front desk to find out what the hours are. One last thing, the bar does service the pool. So if you're one that likes to have a cocktail at the pool, you can go ahead and get it at this bar. Also in the lobby is a coffee shop named Common Grounds. They have a variety of drip coffees, espresso based coffees, teas and pastries. We grabbed breakfast here when we stayed at the Hilton Garden Inn and we all loved it. Plus, the staff was really super friendly and nice. They also sell a variety of snacks if you want to grab something to take into the parks with you. We recommend if you plan on grabbing coffee here to give yourself a little bit of extra time because the line can get quite long. Overall, this would be a huge time saver if you grab coffee here in the morning versus waiting in the long Starbucks lines at Disneyland. Another thing we always love to see in the newer hotels are the water bottle filling stations and they had one in the lobby near the restrooms on the way out to the pool area. And this is the amenity you've all been looking for and that is the included breakfast. This is a hot breakfast and it is an exclusive to Home to Suites guest. The breakfast room is located on the second floor right across from the gym and you will need your hotel key card to access the breakfast area. Breakfast is served from 6.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. The breakfast room is a smaller room and we do believe that it can get crowded during peak times. When we visited, we had no problem finding a table. Our favorite part about the breakfast was the waffle bar and that was just a big hit with the entire family. They also had eggs, sausage, a variety of breads, bagels, oatmeal, cereals, juice, milk, coffee and tea. We thought it was one of the better breakfasts we've had in the area yet. If you missed our room tour of the Home 2 Suites, go ahead and click the link here. And if you want to see how far the walk is to Disneyland, go ahead and check out the other link, which is a real-time walk to Disneyland. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.